Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing for you guys this Vankyo Leisure 495W 1080p Full HD Projector. Looking at the box, you can see that this projector features screen mirroring. It has to be connected through Wi-Fi and you have your native 1920 by 1080p. And it does have stereo surround sound with uh, Dolby Audio. Here we have some manufacturer information and then some information about the product. So let's go ahead and open up this uh, box and then see what we have inside. Comes covered in this uh, foam, nicely padded and secured. The first thing you can see here is we have a white plot. And then some uh, instruction, it seems like. Let's go ahead and open this up. And then some um, cotton swabs. So for cleaning the lens or dust removal when needed, please keep them well for future use. Okay, so these cotton swabs are basically for you to uh, clean up the inside of the projector. So they give you one, two, three, four, five of these. So it should last you for quite some time. And then I already said that we have the white plot. We have a quick start guide here. And then here we have the user manual, give you all the information that you need and different ways to set this up. It does come with a remote, which is really nice. I do like the fact that the new projectors are coming with a remote and you don't have to manually operate them uh, with the buttons from the projector itself. And they also send you a nice long HDMI cable have your AV right here for your audio and video and then here you have the power cord the last thing we have here is the projector itself so go ahead and take it out you can see here we have the lens cover protector and here's the lens uh, this dial right here is to zoom in and zoom out so it does rotate. <clears throat> and you can see when you do that, the lens actually does come out. Here on the back, you can see that it has the Dolby Audio, the power button, uh, left, down, right arrow key, OK, and the back button. Uh, there's a LED light indicator Then we have one HDMI two USB one AV port uh, one headphone jack or your audio output and This keystone. I'm not really sure exactly what this is for. I'll have to check this one out But I do think that this is just to tilt the screen up and down with um, And then you also have this little screw down here that you can unscrew and adjust the height and how it's sitting on your desk or your stand. <clears throat> here you have the power port and this thing slides off. And here you have the filter to clean out all the dust and keep it clean inside. And you, I'm pretty sure that uh, whatever we have here is the speaker. And since it does say that it has surround audio, probably like some speakers on the sides as well. But let's go ahead and um, power it on and then see what all features and functions we have uh, on this Bankio 1080p projector. So here I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And as soon as you plug it in, you can see that the blue LED light indicator comes up right away. And then for our remote, 
I do believe we need uh, some AAA batteries. And they're not included. Yeah, you can see that they are the AAA batteries. Not included within. So you do have to get those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, HDMI connected to my laptop and go ahead and project something for you guys and then look at all the options we have inside. So as soon as you turn it on, you can see that it's asking us to select our language. So you have uh, multiple different languages that you can pick from. So I'm gonna go ahead and click English. So you have your multimedia where you have movies, photos, music, text. You can see that it says that please insert storage device, please press any key to cancel. So these multimedia files, you actually need to have a USB device plugged into the uh, projector in order for you to play those files onto this. Uh, so if you don't have any, in a USB file, then you wouldn't be able to play it. So if you would like to play some movies, music, videos, or anything out of a USB, just plug it in and then you should be able to play it without any issues. So if I go into my input, you can see that I have a multi-screen, HDMI, then I have my AV. So you can select um, different ones. So if you do multi-screen, you have your window cast, you have iOS, cable cast, you have your cast settings, mirror cast, iOS cast, and DLNA. Um, so with the Windows cast, you don't need to have this plugged in. I think you should be able to just connect it through Bluetooth and directly play it. For your iOS, mirror cast, uh, you need to make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi in order for you to cast something wirelessly onto this projector. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back. And then come into my settings here. So you can have this projector set up in a couple different ways. If you go under projector settings, you can see that you have a couple different modes. So you have normal, uh, front, you have normal back, you have invert front and invert back, whichever one works best for you. And then you have your image settings. You can see image scaling is 100%. And then you have your aspect ratio, you have your picture mode. So let's look into our picture mode here. And you can see we have our standard, soft, user and dynamic and I think uh, the colors are actually pretty nice as you can tell so you have your Wi-Fi settings online update and then restore to your factory default in your software version so not really much um, in this cast settings so let me go ahead and uh, cast something onto this projector so that I can show you guys what the image quality is like, what the video quality is like. And you can also have your gaming console uh, connected to this and then play your video games. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to screen mirror to this projector. All you need to make sure is you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And once you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, come here to the iOS cast and press OK. And as soon as the screen loads, you can go ahead and go into your screen mirroring and your Leisure 495W5805 will come up. And as soon as you're done selecting, you can see that it's doing the screen mirroring right now and you can just go through um, everything that you need. And as you can see, it comes right up and the colors look quite nice and with the knob you can actually go ahead and zoom in and then zoom out and then you can see that depending on how far it is um, it will actually blur up a little bit so that means that you need to go further so since i don't have any more room behind me i'm just zooming in and making sure that it's um, 
as crisp as I can make it. So this actually looks the best. So let me go ahead and play something and show you guys. So now let's go ahead and check out the Dolby audio that we have with this projector and I want to show you guys how nice the sound is, uh, how clear it is and how loud it is. So you can see on the left volume is only at 40 right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up so you guys can see how loud it can get. So let me know what you guys think of the quality of this uh, Vankyo Leisure 495W1080P full HD projector. I like the fact that you have auto sleep timer and bunch of different settings, uh, different projection mode. Uh, you can adjust your image scaling, the aspect ratio. Uh, you can change your picture mode, all of that. And then also uh, for this specific projector, you can have this anywhere from a 42.5 inch all the way up to 220 inch uh, screen depending on how big your room is or how big your theater is. So this is a per you know perfect projector for a movie theater and I love the fact that it has the Dolby audio because you guys heard the music that I played uh, also from the video. Uh, the sound is super clear, it gets super loud. I don't even think you would need to have a separated, um, you know, audio output device or speaker because, uh, you know, for myself, I can see myself using it just with the built-in sound that it already comes with it. And I think it's plenty loud. And then for your uh, display technology, you have the L uh, you know, LCD, you have your light source as LED. And I already went over the resolution, which is 1920 by 1080 P. Um, and then your installation type can be front, rear, or ceiling. Um, you, they also give you the remote. I love that because, you know, going through these little buttons over here, back and forth can get quite frustrating. So I wouldn't even, you know, use these buttons, honestly. So having the remote actually makes it much easier to navigate with this projector. Uh, you have, you know, some troubleshooting guide in your user manual and all the other information that you need. Um, it's not really that hard to have it set up. Um, basically, plug and play. If you have used any other projector before, it should work uh, like any other projector. Um, not too, not too crazy. So, I like this product. I would personally use it. I would recommend somebody else to use it if they are getting started with a new movie theater um, setup in their house or whatever. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about this uh, Leisure 495W HD projector. Thank you for watching my review. I will see you guys next time.